Darn it, I just got this jump pack. It's only a couple months old. It's been in the trunk and now it won't start the vehicle. What is up with that? Well, that's coming right up. All right, so I'm at Schumacher Electric, and with me is Brian Butler. He's an engineer, and he's going to help me understand why I could not start that vehicle with this jump pack. What is going on here? Well, one of the things is all batteries self-discharge. And if you leave this unit in your trunk for six months and you try and charge your car, start your car, it's just not going to work. Well, that's what the deal yeah. was. When yeah. I got it yeah. and I charged it up, it was, yeah. like, you know, two or three months ago, yeah. put it in the trunk, and then when I needed it, it didn't it work. It won't work. You need to recharge these units once a month. Easily. All right, so that yep. solves that. Um, while I was here, though, uh, the guys brought out a bunch of other uh, jump packs. And by the way, what's a jump pack, really? A jump pack is basically a battery with cables on it. And some will have more features than others. Some will have switches to engage the, the cables. But basically, that's all it is. It's a valve-regulated lead-acid battery, most of them, that is spill-proof and uh, safe to carry within your car that can supply enough power to start your vehicle. Yeah, it's a whole lot better than using jumper cables. It's sort of better thing, than right? using the jumper cables. OK, well, the one I have here, it's got a light on it. I thought that was really pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, a place to, to plug in, you know, like a cigarette lighter socket type stuff. But um, the guys here at Schumacher brought uh, some other things out for me today to look at, and this one's a lot bigger. This so. one's a lot bigger. It has a little larger battery in it. You can start bigger engines. This one can do four cylinder engines easily, possibly small six. This one can do uh, larger sixes and possibly small eights. Very cool. Another thing I noticed is it's got like a, an air compressor on there. So if we get a flat tire or. Got a flat tire, to... you're going to blow up a basketball, you can certainly use it to do that. It's got a pressure gauge that tells you how much you're putting in the vehicle. Um, it's a great feature to have with you to keep in your trunk. I like the basketball thing. You know how important it is for hoops in the back of the shop, yeah. right? Yeah. All right, well, here's another one. It's got, yep. it's got even bigger <laughs> um, stuff on it. Wow, right. and it's got ports for plug-in uh, 12 volt AC. Wow, tell right. us more about this one. Right, this one here is a larger unit. It's got a bigger battery in there. It can start uh, small diesels and large V8s. It's got a built-in light. It's got a digital display, which can be used to, to tell you um, how much battery life is left in the unit. It's got uh, a switch to engage the jump start feature. It's got a compressor for filling up your tires, and it also has an inflator in it for filling up like a small air mattress or, or something like that, or an inner tube when you're going to go uh, tubing. That is awesome, yep. very awesome. Okay, yep. one more thing, I'm a little bit confused. Uh, this little one like I have here, and then we have a bigger one for bigger engines, right. and then we have even a bigger one with more capacity, and then way down at the end is a small one again. Right, well, this is our latest technology. This is state of the art. This has a lithium iron phosphate battery in it, which is maybe smaller than the lead acid battery that's in these, but it's much, is just as much capacity as some of these larger batteries. This can start most six cylinder vehicles and all four cylinder vehicles. It is a great unit. It's compact. It has a built in one watt flashlight. It has a USB charging port and it has a 12 volt accessory port, which you can small plug in small 12 volt appliances, even a memory saver when you're changing the battery in your car. Oh, that is really cool. I gotta give me one of these mm. things. All right, so there you have it. What great technology at Schumacher. Uh, your basic stuff, bigger, even bigger, and the latest technology available today. You guys need to check this stuff out.